The pulmonary artery, or Swan-Ganz catheter, is a balloon flotation catheter that directly measures multiple physiologic values. In this demonstration, we will review the anatomy of the catheter and the pressure waveforms obtained as the catheter is floated into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery catheter is a multi-lumen catheter with markings at each 10 cm interval from the tip. Each thin dash represents 10 cm, and each thick dash represents 50 cm. For a standard VIP catheter, the lumens include the thermistor port, which measures blood temperature for cardiac output calculations, the blue CVP, or proximal injectate port, which terminates 30 cm from the catheter tip, the yellow or PA distal tip port, which terminates at the tip of the catheter, the balloon port, which is used to inflate the balloon at the tip of the catheter, and the white right atrial or proximal volume infusion port, which terminates 31 centimeters from the catheter tip. The PA catheter is initially advanced through the introducer sheath into the internal jugular vein and subsequently traverses into the superior vena cava and then the right atrium. At this point, the monitor will demonstrate a central venous pressure, or CVP waveform, which consists of five phases, three peaks, and two troughs. In order of appearance, the A wave corresponds to atrial contraction. The C wave corresponds to movement of the tricuspid valve into the right atrium during isovolumic ventricular contraction. The X descent corresponds to atrial relaxation. The V wave corresponds to systolic filling of the atrium. And the Y descent corresponds to early ventricular filling. Here, the balloon is inflated and the catheter is advanced with each heartbeat. As the catheter traverses the tricuspid valve, right ventricular pressures will be measured and will appear on the monitor as a marked increase in systolic pressure. A right ventricular waveform is seen with a steep systolic slope. As the catheter is advanced further, the PA catheter will then float across the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery, displaying a PAP waveform. In comparison to the right ventricular pressure waveform, there is an increase in diastolic pressure, also known as the diastolic step-up when the catheter is in the pulmonary artery. The most distinct feature seen on the PA tracing is a downslope in the pressure tracing during diastole. We will now demonstrate insertion of a PA catheter in a patient. The PA catheter is first advanced through the introducer sheath to the 20 cm marking with the balloon deflated. It is important to recognize, however, that the catheter emerges at 13 centimeters. The tracing on the monitor should be observed carefully at all times. As the catheter rests in the right atrium, the monitor demonstrates a CVP waveform. The three peaks and two troughs are visualized. The balloon is now inflated and the catheter is advanced with each heartbeat. The transition to a waveform with a steep systolic slope suggests that the catheter has traversed the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Insertion of the catheter is periodically paused to emphasize the waveforms for teaching purposes. As the catheter is advanced further, an increase in diastolic pressure, also known as a diastolic step-up, is seen. This suggests that the tip of the catheter is now in the pulmonary artery. A study published in 2006 measured the length of insertion to the right ventricle, pulmonary artery, and wedge position of pulmonary catheters in 300 adult patients in India through the right internal jugular vein. The right ventricle was reached at 24.6 cm and pulmonary artery was reached at 36 cm. The length of insertion to reach the pulmonary artery was directly related to the height of the patient.